Okay. So, what's going on, guys? It's Aqua Leader Jesse. Um, here with the start of my Halloween project, um, for the channel at least. Uh, I'm going to be playing Until Dawn. Um, it's a horror game that I think would be good for a series. Um, I've been trying to decide what to play. Uh, let me adjust this. It's there. Um, Um, but, uh, I feel like that's distracting. Let me move it down here. Okay. Um, I've been trying to decide what I wanted to play for Halloween. And I eventually landed on this. Um, I feel like it's one that lends itself best to a series. I was trying to decide between this and Resident Evil 3, the remake that just came out. But, to be honest, I just played Resident Evil 3 when it came out, so I've and I've technically played this once. Played through it once. I only gotten one ending. It wasn't even the ending I wanted. And it was back when it was newer. So, um, that's been a while. And, uh, I'm probably gonna get a different ending this time. Especially since I don't remember all the decisions I made. I don't remember one or maybe two of the actual spots where the decisions were. Like, I'm not gonna say what they are because anyone here hasn't seen this. But, um, I particularly remember one, it wasn't a decision, but something I had to do, and I accidentally killed off the one person I wanted to save the most. So, uh, we're gonna go into this, uh, and see what's going on. New story. Where are guys next? This is the episode menu if unlocked. So, episodes? Okay. Yeah, here we go. I don't want to lose any collectibles I got. Butterfly effect. Okay, I'm worried my audio might be a bit too loud. Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today and lead to a devastating hurricane tomorrow. I turned on face cam since it's a horror game. Drastically changed the future. Actions will sh change will shape how the story unfolds. Ugh. Your story is one of many possibilities. Yeah, I'm aware. Choose your actions carefully. Okay. I think you might be able to choose your own adventure. Just a guess. A lot of snow. Seems like it's pretty bad weather. Wouldn't want to live there. Oh, I remember this. She's a mocap actor. <laughs> She's here. Shh. Mike. Messed up. Mike. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Okay. That's better. Weekend. 
Josh. All right, and I am in control. Yo, Josh. You're not Josh. I don't remember any of the characters' names. Just gonna be honest here. I was just like, look, can't be expected. Yeah. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to my guest come to the guest room at two AM, Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Yeah, I know how to move. You don't have to keep reminding me. I've got your note. Nice to meet you. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Best. Uh, uh, great. You guys are jerks. Feel that? Hannah. Also, I sorry my face cam is so shitty. It's the best I got at the moment. I want to get a better one. Uh, like Josh or find others. Guys. Yeah. I Hannah! just realized I just What's fucked Joss over. He's screwed. It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It wasn't a what funny one. I would not have been amused. You jerk! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Time runs out. Okay. <clears throat> Safe. I don't remember what I picked for these, but. Yeah, follow the footprints. At least tell they're human. Finish. Um... Hannah. Like being using the right stick. Sweet. Okay. So, um, Hannah is screwed. She's already dead. She's uh, turned into a zombie and cordyceps has taken over her body, and The Last of Us has just begun. Um, it'll be a crossover with The Walking Dead. Oh, here's our first tiki thingy. <gasps> Totem. That was close. Okay, okay, come on. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you 
must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, snap. She snapped her ankle. She's dead. She's screwed. Leave her behind. Feed her to the wolves. Let her go. You gotta be getting ripped apart. Wow. What a pleasant looking fellow. Uh, I went with let go before, so I'm gonna go with drop Anna. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know I'm an asshole. Well, I did the other one first, and I know it ends the same way. I just wanted to see how different it was. Positive vibes. I told you you can't change what happened last year. You can only affect the future. Accept it. Move on. So, you have committed to commence with the same business as usual. And I want to help you see it through. <clears throat> Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, a little terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always <clears throat> find a way to work through it. Hmm? Hmm. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? Pick and up I'm a going card? To look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential. You answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. So we have a pleasant looking uh, scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, doesn't necessarily make me happy. I guess I go with uneasy. I don't know what I did last time. Not that creepy, though. What do you think it is that a little bit creepy, though. Hmm, Scarecrow. Say a week, for example. Sure. <laughs> huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, it it depends. I'd have to actually hear the story. Um. And how the interior of it looks. I guess I'll put I'd be scared. I think it'll make a better, better, uh, more interesting future. I'm hard to scare, by the way. Ooh. Remember. The fifth of September. Oh. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But 
Life will totally end very soon. Okay. Okay. Okay, back to the game. Yeah. Till dawn. Oh, there's an awesome metal song made out of this game, by the way, by DA Games. Hey, Penetier, told you so. Uh, it was just called Until Dawn. Just like a Until Dawn song. It should show up. It's good. This song is good, too. Yeah. Rami Malik. I was trying to remember his name earlier. The guy from uh, iRobot and uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. He's also in this. Oh, Megan Martin's in this? I didn't remember that. I did not remember her. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. <sighs> Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. Surprised I still think she's alive, considering she went out in this. They went out in a snowstorm into the wilderness a year ago and never came up. I don't know. It seems like she would be presumed dead by now. I would guess. Anyway. I'm not saying give up, because, you know, what if they were still alive? I'm just saying I'm surprised. See? Rami Malek, right there. Alright. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. And, you know, okay, so. Seems real bothered. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Oh, back to the credits. Okay. Not gonna lie, when I was, uh, I was younger, I used to watch the show Nashville. I really hope I'm not being drowned out. According to the audio reading, I should be fine. Um. This is really loud. Um. Uh, I watched the show Nashville with my family, and I had a huge crush on Hayden Pendergrew in that show been a long time since I watched it though. Probably five years? 
Maybe even a monitor. I didn't make it very far in. I don't even know if the sh did the show end. Is it done? I don't know. I'm trying to line back up a little bit because um, you know it's a horror game. Jump scares still gotta give me ten hours until dawn. Got it. <sighs> this guy. Really? Sam. Okay. Sam. Consider it adventurous. Got it. Hannah's best friend. Diligent. Hello? Someone there? Gonna try to keep everybody alive if possible. And obviously aside from the girls at the beginning, but I have no choice on that as far as I'm aware. camera yeah and I can't really right now it's not I can tilt it up a tiny bit I can make a look up and down yeah <laughs> yeah it's supposed to climb over safe. We're not, we're not killing her off. We're not letting her die this early. Wait, I wasn't even looking at the screen. Fine. I'm just imagining him just being totally exhausted. Okay, my controller was completely still. The don't move thing is one of my favorite things about this, it also least favorite, because I whenever the calibration isn't quite right or something. Or whatever. Sometimes I literally one time I literally just to make sure it wasn't just me, set it down just straight on the table and it like slowly glided up. But that was with an old controller. I didn't have this controller last time. This is the Death Stranding one. Uh, I still had my Uncharted 4 controller, and I still have that controller, I just don't use it primarily now, since that one's so much more worn down. This one's in much better shape. There's just people, and butterfly prophecies. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. So that's, uh, when you picked up the Matiki totem, totem thingy earlier, you picked up the thing, looked at it, literally showed us what happened to the girl, how she died. That's why it's black there. But there's a red thing around it. Name's danger. Red butterfly is warned of dangerous events. Uh, brown is loss. Uh, or tragedy among friends. So, I mean, someone uh, else's death, other than the character we're playing as. Guidance. Offered visions of help and guide. So something that'll help us along the way in fortune. Uh, luck and good fortune. Okay. So, yeah, if we find those totems, that yeah, will tell us what. Okay. Yeah, totems, yeah. Let me, let me pick it up. 
Oh, I wasn't trying to pause it. I'm trying to. Thank you. And it's. Yo, what's that? Again, help. Guidance, yeah. I saw him sta a dude standing up I'm looking at something when there was a bird at a table. Let's see my totem collection. I've only got two, right? Oh, no, it still shows my entire totem. I'm not going to look at that. Don't want to spoil anything on accident or something. As I forgot, I've already played this once. Let's see. There's a backpack right here. And this is okay. Oh, we just did something important. That just affected the ending. But I would do the same thing if somebody seemed to be missing that I was looking for and they're getting a phone call. I don't mean to invade their privacy, I wouldn't do it in a snipping way, but like, hey, I can. If I recognize who it was, I pick it up and be like, "Hey, it's you no, know, it's Jesse. I can't find him. Do you know where he might be, or something? I don't know. If I was out in the tundra like this, if it was someone else that was up there. Asked if I knew what he was coming out there for, so maybe I could look for him. Something like that. I wouldn't snoop on his phone. But Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Remember, a a Ashley is the one with the beanie, right?" I think. So I like Ashley a lot too. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. <sighs> oh, so I found. I guess I also am aware this is a horror game, so I'm a bit more nudge about that. So, then come on. I was there. Totally unassuming, right there. Gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Ta -da. Pretty rad, right? It's uh wooden shack. Oh, it's a shooting range. I couldn't tell what was sitting there. Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead. Alright. Here goes. Uh, I can't shoot. Oh, I have to shoot that. Okay. I was gonna try to go for that farthest bottle, but I guess not. Hey, you boy. It's a wild case of beginner's luck. I don't think so, girl. <sighs> oh. Okay, let's get the one I wanted the whole time. Well, right there. Anybody, Got him. brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. What about that there squirrel? I ain't going for the squirrel. I ain't no criminal. I ain't going to go kill that squirrel. Your ass just got stacked. <sighs> hey, Charmy Sierra, ride some of these. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, cable car. Okay. <sighs> I may be having one other thing happen this Halloween. Aside from the Bobblehammer album. It's definitely weird coming back.
back up here after a whole year. Wanted and put a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary oh, Police Montel Provincial de Blackwood, July 1998. Hmm. Um, let's see. The my band Bob O'Hanlon released their third and actually probably final album, uh, which is a Halloween album called um, All Gallows Eve, where the three of us are basically um, slasher movie villains. Or we are out to murder the entire planet. Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that. It's what? for Halloween, obviously. I, I don't know. Um, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's the name, All Gallows Eve. Check it out. I got a couple videos on this on this channel that about it. Just to help to have them all up before for Halloween. This is beyond our control. Okay. Uh, man, I should have paid more attention. I was so focused on talking, I didn't do nothing. Or I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. Excuse me. Oh, I just walked in. I thought I was looking for something. <laughs> this whole time I thought I was supposed to find something to help me get in. <clears throat> so I can go in there. Can't drop down there. The car was closer. I guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Big mountain. Where? Blackwood Pine. Hotel and sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Yeah. Well, thank you. Trying to see. I don't see anything. Just hoping I would see something like some secret. But if there is one, I totally missed it. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but I... okay. together on the anniversary I mean Josh being really pumped about us all doing something didn't he yeah no he definitely did I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever good good so okay <clears throat> kind of been worried. so this is sort of a really good idea. like a choose your own adventure horror oh, movie type thing away. um well, you're unaware right. Bro, good oh hang on uh random uh settings I forget subtitles. You know what? Let's just let's probably just forgot to turn those on. Enjoy your trip. Uh, yeah, Sorry, right. I totally you know forgot until just now. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. I prefer the back of the room as well. Existed, but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I would sit. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Match made in heaven. 
if it weren't for the fact that Gene Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day, okay. he oh. a shirt that showed off the training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. And boom. Butterfly effect. <gasps> it's like he knew. That's Jess. Okay. Didn't really care for her, if I remember correctly. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Again, this is if I remember correctly. I'm not trying to judge. I may end up liking her for all I know, but. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! That does account. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? I was We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? A surprise, please? not a scare. Oh my god. <clears throat> I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, it's Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hey, Chris. Gotta grab something real quick. Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts in my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's drawers. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the library. I'm getting tired of all this. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. What? I mean, you know, whoever. Okay. Uh, Sam? Did you see that view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget that you just need to stop and take it all in. Okay. Sorry about that. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? As you can see, I was still playing and paying attention. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt. Ooh. Matt. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <clears throat> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone <clears throat> here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> again, doesn't count. There's no actual fear there. It does not count. Okay? It doesn't count. Mike. Screw you, Mike. Right Dude, there. I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence. Just a little harmless fun. We're out in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh. Yeah. Michael, you got to okay. step off. Crossing the line a bit. Together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we 
understand each other. Oh, I don't put it quite like that. Past all this. It divides, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. I just meant like. I think you got the message. Not to tell him, just like, dude, uh -huh. chill. Oh, you Seriously. Know that? I'm gonna just leave it at that. That's all I thought was gonna happen. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Mac, please. Do you believe that's where she's going? I, him, I, would persist. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna be from it being dark out. I'll just leave your stuff here and come with me. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why are you have to One second. everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, again. Having some technical difficulties. Okay. So we're Ashley now. Now I was right. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Though not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Doesn't count. Hey. And what was going on with the snow right there? Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jimmy you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with us there? Uh. It, Let me check it out. It, uh, yeah. Go take uh, a look. Go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Wait, hey, was there probably nothing? Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Ah, damn it! Matt. I'm not saying she doesn't have the right to go talk to him. Because I could still do that as friends. But, um, I just think that he should have the right to at least know what she's doing. Uh, anyway, like not in an invasion of her privacy kind of way, but I think she should be honest with him. We're going to read book. The you did not just do that. Hell was she reading? The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh! 
He had him. <laughs> okay. Where are you hiding, little chicken? Making sure. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> just checking my audio levels, making sure I'm not duplicating myself again. Okay. Uh, dang it. So I picked the wrong time for that. Wait. I'm not attacking the bird. Are you kidding me? Why would I attack the bird? Yeah. So that was what the tank what that fortune totem was telling me. And that guidance totem. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty. All right, this is getting kind of awkward for the YouTube channel, so I'm just gonna start talking, break the tension, because that's uh. Just making out. Quote unquote. Well, I think we might break you that somewhere between those quotes. Yes. All right. Uh. So my channel isn't kid friendly, but it's got its limits, you know. Oh, we're back. Hello again. Hmm. And how are we? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. I do. This time, is, is Scarecrow making me feel a bit uneasy? To your anxiety. Now, pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most angry. Okay. Uh, well, I get I, there's no correct answer to that. They could certain men and certain women would scare me more. Not. I'd say when it comes to this, mostly the men though scare me. Crowds, I'd say, would bother me. And I'm not really scared of either. I'm not scared of heights or crowds. But crowds, you never know when someone's hiding. Uh, if your heights are drowning. I'd say either one, I love swimming. I guess maybe heights. I don't know. I, I'm not scared of heights, but you know, I won't like sit on the edge of a cliff. Uh, snakes or rats. Uh, I'd say. Again, not scared of either one. I don't have a snake. I've had a cousin with a pet snake, but I've I've other reptiles in my house. I'd say they scare me more than a rat, that's for sure. I feel like killing a rat would be easier than scare I and mean, guns don't really scare me. Uh 
say knives, probably. I don't know why. I'm not scared of knives either, but like. Cockroaches don't scare me either. I just, they're just. And they're gross. So I don't want them in my place. I've gotten rid of cockroaches before. I actually managed to do what people say you can't do and stomp on a cockroach and crush it. Uh, which I know sounds horrible. Uh, no, don't attack animals. But I, it was in my place of work where it is not supposed to be. And uh, we could get in very serious trouble otherwise. And of course I had to like raid spray my shoes afterwards to make sure nothing was on my shoes. Not scared of either one though. And it also like would depend. Like that clown is scarier than that scarecrow to me. But I mean I'm not scared of clowns at all. Or scarecrows. Will that matter? So are clowns or scarecrows? I'm gonna point it up and see which one it picks. Scarecrows. Oh, I don't think crows are scary, and gore does disgust me. Not quite scary, but it can be disgusting. Is that stopping you? Is that sorry? I'm not nervous, I'm just making decisions. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, more enlightening, definitely not to make it scarier. Spiders or tarantulas? As spiders, I don't care about tarantulas. You can go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with spiders for this one. Uh, I've gone with snakes enough. I'm gonna go with spiders. I do not fear needles. I have no fear of needles. I'd say zombies probably more than scarecrows. Maybe. I don't know. I don't fear dogs. And if a dog's chasing me, I will run away from it, but storms don't scare me either. I feel like this is going to be a really gory game. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Okay. I don't, I don't want to know what kind of Friday nights this dude has. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. <laughs> okay. So we're about to get... We're still on the intro to this. Um... He needs us to check stuff real quick. What's going on? Where's my sister going? I need mean, I still don't know exactly when or how these are being uploaded. I'm checking something. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and uh Share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this
this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Josh, yeah, I've seen him. Okay. Okay. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like a trinket now. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawal already. You got a spare million lying around, <sighs> fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Hmm? Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was still good to see. He's a little pissed. If you didn't know, he's kind of pissed. Just a little yo, bit. Yo, you got things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. Freaking thing. Dice. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own a place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Okay. Hi, Chris. Be confident. Here's a positivity. Positivity is at the core yeah, of Until Dawn. A little cold. It's an entire game about positivity and niceness. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I say, I don't know. This isn't exactly the trip to... How can you not know? Try to... It's like weird. Build relationships. Like, wanna be friends with me anymore if I try some build like relationships. I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow a pair. <sighs> so how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, Buck? Well, I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, coaches, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked. That's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cold money. Hmm. So there was an axe there. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Okay, um... Oh, I did. I thought I had to hold it, but now I have to nudge it individual times. You had a... Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. 
Climbing a wall is way different than climbing a rope. I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Wait, wait, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use flamethrower. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lori dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right. So you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. God. Yay! Excited. Darkness, dread, being alone, best things in a horror experience. What do we got going on? What was that? What, what was that? I gotta be the horror character and go toward the sound. Instead of running away. <gasps> what we got? Ex janitor convicted for arson. Yeah, that's that, uh. That's one dude's name, uh. Something Milgram. Yeah, it's that same guy from the sign you saw earlier. We were playing as. Might have still been Chris, actually. People are probably wondering why I'm not live streaming this. That's gonna be answered here in just a second. A tense moment, okay. Very tense. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? <laughs> that was so funny. Where's the bathroom? This way. Oh, something broke over here. Oh, of course. This is what the <laughs> dining room looks like. Where the hell do I go? Straight up here, walk footsteps. This is be a problem. Oh, it's the shutters. <sighs> I feel like a bathroom would be over here. Yeah, buddy, come on. Tell me it's in here. This ain't a bathroom. This is a... in here. 
sure where that security camera was. That was in the, uh... <gasps> God damn it. Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. It's not funny. Quit laughing. Quit fucking laughing. It's not funny. I'll take the deodorant blowtorch right thank to your, you, you, you. to your buns. <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it's just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. I'm a big kid now. Not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. Oh, is it a fire? This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. <coughs> Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. <coughs> Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. I don't want to do either one. What are you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. With the telescope. I'd rather find out. Before, Ask him about it. Each other. It's been a while, so we hug and I said hello. Is that against the law? There we go. That's right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind positivity. of positivity again. Reacted. Positivity. Uh, don't worry about it. We cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. See, positivity. I know I'm looking down here like there's a chat I'm supposed to be reading. Positivity. Okay. So gross. Ew. Are you trying to swallow his face hole? Oh, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's been Ooh. in the mix cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Yeah, it's she started it. Shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch. Whoa. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down. No one else can play with your toys. You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. Oh yeah, I don't really care for these two. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. I don't care for Mike either. Natural advantages you can handle. Oh, please. you couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? <laughs> Think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. <sighs> Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? And in the end, they he has to, to get real. They're both Stop in the wrong, so you may as well try to save we up here. his girl. It's not what I wanted. Thank you, Josh. Can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Yeah. Mike, why don't just get Jessica and Emily out of this. Out of can't keep them in the same room. These two, two couples. Want to go do that? Like, Any place without that whore. And Matt and Josh get along better. Right up the trail. And Matt is dating Josh's ex. Well, that's over. You're off. So, Josh, uh, can we get the fire going? I've been in the same room as my fiance's ex. My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern. Able to make it do. Matt, are you are you listening? Sure, I hate the guy, but. Don't you remember next to the 
Italian shoe place Better where I got the not, stilettos. No reason to start the conflict. While you were drooling all over that unless well, I mean, he makes she was a reason for that to be one. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? That's not for me. You must have left it down by the table car seat. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Alright, so I'm not live streaming this just because... You can get very warm. I may have something coming out on Halloween. And I kind of bulk record these and spread them out throughout the week. Because I... Don't know what my schedule is going to be like. I found I'm able to upload better than I am. Upload consistently better than I'm able to live stream. Like, as the time of recording this, I've got stuff scheduled for two weeks from now. I've got daily uploads for the next two weeks, as well as um, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday 30 minute thing. Feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars, gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, glow. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. Don't worry, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to find get it, because they're nuts. Flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? <laughs> Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on. Okay, I'm gathered. I really like Sam. Not just because Hayden Penetier plays her, but, and hey, Ashley, just because they're right. the kindest people. Um, Chris, okay. a bit of a... Got it. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure if it, they would recognize it or not. Easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. A cabin fever, but you're outside. Was there? Oh, I thought that was a totem or something. Okay, so um, I don't know the schedule of this yet because I haven't recorded all the episodes. Obviously, this is the first one. If she can cut in on what we got going on, maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. And she was. I think you just randomly worst. started this. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Yeah, so Emily started it. All she was doing was huh. getting Let's close see. and cuddling. Something. Didn't Josh stay there with his generator? This way. In the open shade, I'm sure. Oh, is that a total? Is that a total? Hey, hey, totem. Hang on, I gotta go see somebody die. Oh. What was it? Was that Ashley? I forgot to even look at who it was that got killed. My. Wouldn't it be nice to fire up the Jenny and get moving? What's a Jenny? Give me a second.
Mm-hmm. Walk a bit faster, walk a bit faster. Just, just, you know, save time. That's all. Okay, so, um, we have to make this trek every day just to get... Yeah, I guess. Getting the creeps now. Is so is she uh, the one are, that's played by uh I already forgot her name. The one I forgot was in the or didn't realize was in the game. Uh Megan Martin. Is she Megan Martin? I see her being Megan Martin. Could be Ashley, I suppose, but... Um, did you hear that? That deafening scream like somebody's getting tortured in a cabin nearby? Like, that's two feet behind us? Yes, I did hear that. Um, this is also a more Megan Martin type of character. Kind of character she plays. The first character died already. Oh. Was, that was close. One time I picked the riskier option. I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> You're all welcome. I know you yawn too. You're gonna yawn. Yawn. You're welcome. Ah! Oh, I didn't even see the button, to be honest. Oh, crap. oh my gosh, are you okay? Yep. Yep. I'm fine. Looking just in the background. Is that dude there somewhere? Something back here. This place is giving me the willies. They're not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. That way. There's room. There'd be something here. This is like 
historical. Holy fat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think it's mine actually. <laughs> I don't remember this area of it. Risk and danger. This place is a real fixer upper. I don't know where I am. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Finally, a little ray of comfort. Light up there. There's something over here. I just felt that something would glisten. I walked over there. Okay. Keeping everyone alive. Keeping everyone alive. No one dies. No one dies. No death round. I still can't see the cabin. I can see that it's close, but I can't see what it looks like. Called it. I knew something was gonna jump. Didn't get me that time. Um, sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. That's where we came from. Going this way. They're way down here. Can't my death perception is struggling. Okay. Checkpoint. Oh, I'm saying checkpoint. There are no checkpoints here. It's I guess maybe a save point. Oh. When you die, you don't start again. <laughs> Permadeath. death. What's it? What's it? Watch out, bird brain. I was, I was flirting. Sending us up here. Yeah, I kind of picked up this tree and moved it out of the way before he sent us. Up.
It looks very easily climbable. Anyone could have seen that a mile away. Okay. That's how it's gonna be. She gone. Yes. Yes. Sammy. What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just. Okay, well. Come on. I am going to cut this episode off here. Um, so, uh, thank you guys so very much for watching this. I am excited to see where this goes. Um, obviously, I know part of where it goes a little bit. I don't remember it fully. Um, but uh, we're probably going to go for a different ending than last time. I don't know because I don't remember how I got to my ending. But, um, or the name of the ending I got or anything. So I won't be able to tell you. I don't remember exactly how it ended, to be honest with you. I just remember the scene where one character died that I didn't want to die toward the very, very end. I don't remember the exact. I remember, like, pieces of it, but anyway, we're going to go for a new ending, don't know which one yet, because I don't know all the endings, um, but we're going to have some fun, so uh, keep a lookout for the next one, I, again, as of right now, don't know exactly how far this will be, but I hope to have the whole thing out by Halloween, and as of me recording this, it's less than a week away, so... Keep a look up for the next one, maybe tomorrow. But I, I guess check back tomorrow. I'm going to hopefully have one tomorrow for you. Uh, that should be just as long as this one. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I don't normally like to do this, but I kind of got it just because I really, really want to. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm really trying to get to 100. Um, I've been working really hard at this whole YouTube thing um, since I came back. I don't even remember how long ago it was. Man, it's only really been a few weeks, but um, as I've said, I've already got stuff scheduled for the next couple weeks. Not counting any live streams. I do I live stream. Um, I've been recently live streaming Crash Bandicoot 4, Call of Duty World War 2, primarily those two. Uh, I haven't streamed Call of Duty in a while now, but that's partially because Crash Bandicoot 4 has been taking over my life. But I'll be getting back, I promise. Call of Duty World War 2 will continue. Um, so if you would please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed. My most recent subscriber as of right now is Pichu0320, the Pichu. Um, if, uh, or if you are subscribed, anyone you know may be interested in this, please just at least give me give a recommendation. I could just really use it. Um, I'm hoping to try to get more viewership um, to justify all the work I'm putting into this. I'm trying to put more and more and more work into the stuff I do. I, I'm i just trying to make sure people are actually enjoying what I put out. Um, so, you know, liking a video, leaving a nice comment or something like that. Would let me, or even let me know if there's something I can improve on in comments would also be helpful. Um, I know I need a better mic. I, I'm also looking in to get a mic stand. I don't have one. And I'm not using my headset mic, as you can see, it's up. I've got a mic right over here, an actual microphone I'm using. Not the best microphone, but it's a microphone. Um, 
And idealistically, I could get up to a thousand and get monetized. But small steps here. I'm not even to a hundred yet. Um, if I ever got to the point of being monetized, I would go all in on upgrading equipment. But first, I would like to get to one hundred. Um, when I get to one hundred, I'll probably do. I'll do something special for it. I don't know what yet. But I will do something. I don't know. Again, I don't know what, but we'll figure something out. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Now I'll catch all of you guys in the next one, alright? Bye.